Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about the Todd Sheets masterpiece, which is Clownado. This is a 2019 movie. I'll put all the release stuff in the description box down below. Oh my god, where has this movie been all my life? It starts out very different than what the title would suggest. It's between Big Ronnie and his flame, Savannah, I believe who, uh, he kind of walks in while she's talking and making out with the guy she's cheating on him with, and he doesn't take too kindly to that, and does kill him, and kind of lets her know, like, hey, um, I get to do whatever the heck I want because, uh, I might do that to you too. So she does go to one of the other members of the traveling circus that they are all in, who is, uh, associated with dark magic, we find out and tries to get her revenge that way, which ultimately backfires on her very much so, as this is the cause of the Clownado. So it is Big Ronnie and his gang of clowns who are now able to travel through a tornado to try to find her and also just um, kill everyone in their path. I'm gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free. However, it's exactly what the title suggests. It is a tornado full of angry, possibly demonic possessed clowns who just have no regard for anything living or breathing in their path. I really liked this movie. This movie is so funny. It is so, it, it is a, the cheesiest of cheese and I enjoyed it so much. The way the talk, the, the talk, the way the characters talk to each other, the dialogue is hilarious. There's old-timey accents. There's Big Ronnie. His facial expressions are incredible. The guy that played him did such a good job. I very much appreciated it. The gore in this is disgusting. This kind of gore, just so repulsive, so in your face. It's all of those long shots of just grossness and tight shots of things and the squelching sounds that you're just like mm. like I was eating tuna while I was watching this and I had to stop because it got to me that's a sign of a good movie that is gore well done and thank goodness for that I um I just you need to watch this movie it's ridiculous if you like trauma movies this is gonna be your jam this was great my dislikes. Um, I mean, there were some subplots within it that I just didn't really care about, like, uh, with the young girl and with, uh, no, that was pretty much it. I just didn't care about that. It's fine. It wasn't that much of the movie that it really bothered me, but if I had to pick a dislike, I suppose that would be it. It's just like, ah. Uh, I'm going to watch this again very soon. I had been seeing posts all over Facebook. I am friends with Mr. Meat Hook on Facebook, and he is a huge supporter of this film. My friend um, Brian Gatto from Horror, the Horror Show host, he changed the name of his uh, channel. He's in the end credits because he did support the movie and the making of the movie. So it was super cool to see one of my besties names pop up and I was like, oh, he's famous, you know, but between him and Mr. Meat Hook just pushing this movie so hard, I had very high expectations and I was very pleasantly surprised and happy and I really enjoyed it. I'm going to give this movie probably a four out of five. This like ticks off every category of things I want to see in a movie. I want to see gratuitous nudity. I want to see violence. I want to see all the gore. I want to see grossness. I want to see hokey jokes and the cheese. And there's a lot of boobs in this movie, which is great. And Linnea Quigley is in this movie. She, granted, she's in the movie for three minutes, but still, Linnea Quigley, I love you, bitch. You're amazing. So, that being said, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on the movie? Have you seen the trailer? We could possibly link that down below in the description box. I'd love to know your thoughts. Please do leave me a comment. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like Todd Sheets. 
You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsed Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their amazing creators as well because they rock. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy Clownado.